Hi everyone and welcome back. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about breaking down Salesforce into clear, easy to understand lessons that you can actually apply. Today, we're continuing our App Exchange journey by learning how to explore App Exchange listings. By the end of this session, you'll be able to list the key components of a listing, understand how to access reviews from the Salesforce community, and explain the different ways you can try a solution before committing to it. Let's get started. So you've searched App Exchange and found a solution that looks promising, like Salesforce adoption dashboards for Ursa Major Solar. Now comes the important part, drilling into the listing itself. An App Exchange listing is where you confirm whether a solution or consultant actually meets your strategy. This is where experts know exactly where to look for the details that matter most. We'll start with solution listings, then take a look at consultant listings. A solution listing is packed with useful details. Here are the main elements to know. Listing summary. This gives you key solution details along with images or videos. It's also where you can take action, like installing the app or starting a trial. Overview tab. Here you'll find information about the company providing the solution. And for apps, you'll also see pricing details. Reviews tab. This is where the Salesforce community weighs in ratings, comments, and feedback from other users can give you real insight into whether the app delivers. More details. Tab. This section dives deeper with technical specs, documentation, case studies, and package details, including whether the app has passed Salesforce's security review. Together, these elements make sure you have all the context you need before installing anything. Consultant listings look very similar, but they come with some unique details. On the overview tab, you'll see things like the number of projects completed, the year the firm was founded, and how many certified Salesforce experts they employ. There's also a geographic focus map showing where the consultant operates and an expertise tab highlighting their specializations by product, industry, and certifications. This makes it easy to match the right consultant to your business needs, especially if you're tackling a large or complex project. Let's go back to our example with Ursa Major Solar and the Salesforce Adoption Dashboards listing. When you compare it to your App Exchange strategy, everything lines up. It's free, which matches your budget. It provides visuals and dashboards that managers will love. It offers the right functionality, tracking logins and feature usage. And on the more details tab, you confirm it's lightning ready and compatible with enterprise edition. This is exactly how experts validate whether a solution fits. And if something doesn't match, you revisit your strategy to see where you might adjust budget or features are flexible, but technical requirements like org edition are not. Now, even if an app looks perfect on paper, you want to know how it performs in the real world. That's where reviews come in. On the reviews tab, you'll find a rating summary for the overall score and number of reviews, filters to sort reviews by rating or by reviewer badge. For example, feedback from trusted reviewers like Trailhead Rangers or Salesforce MVPs can be especially helpful like and comment options so you can engage with reviews that helped you. And finally, the write a review button where you can share your own feedback once you've tried a solution. Community reviews give you confidence just like checking product reviews before making a big purchase online. Sometimes you'll still have questions even after reading reviews, that's normal. This is where App Exchange gives you the chance to try a solution before fully committing. There are three trial options you might see. Test Drive, a read-only developer edition org set up by the provider with sample data. Great for exploring functionality safely. Sandbox Trial, lets you test the solution in a copy of your own Salesforce environment, just like experts always recommend. Trialforce Trial, a writable developer edition org configured with sample data. 
unlike a test drive, you can customize it and keep using it if you decide to buy. The trial options depend on what the provider offers, but they're an excellent way to test real functionality in a safe space. All right, let's test your knowledge with a quick quiz. Question one, how does a test drive differ from a trial force trial? A, a test drive uses a read-only org while a trial force trial uses a writable org. B, test drives include sample data, but trial force trials don't. C, a test drive is available on every listing, but a trial force trial may not be. D, to start a test drive, you contact the provider, but to start a trial force trial, you click get it now. The correct answer is A, a test drive uses a read-only org, while a trial force trial uses a writable org. This difference determines whether you can customize the environment or just explore it. Question two, how can you learn more about a solution when you have questions? A, read reviews from community members. B, search on the internet. C, read documentation from the provider on the more details tab. D, B and C, E, A and C. The correct answer is E, A and C. Reviews from the community and official documentation in the More Details tab are both trusted, reliable ways to gather information. So to recap, an app exchange listing is where you confirm that a solution matches your strategy. You now know how to evaluate the listing summary, overview, reviews, and technical details. You also know how to leverage community feedback and trial options like test drives or sandbox trials to make informed decisions. That's how you like our OSA major admin, can confidently choose the right app or consultant. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the Declarative Academy and drop a comment below sharing your favorite app exchange app or a time when reviews helped you make a decision. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson. Until then, keep learning, keep building and keep making Salesforce work for you.